What's going on YouTube? Grizzly here, bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 free for all gameplay slash commentary. This one is at lockdown. I go 30 and 7 with the MSR. Pretty good gameplay, but not talking about the gameplay. I'm going to be talking about other topics that are kind of important, like 2012. Okay, Happy New Year's to everyone. Hope you guys had, you know, great holidays, had a lot of fun, you know, got cool shit and all that stuff. But, you know, 2012 is going to be hopefully a good year, hopefully better than 2011. 2011 wasn't a bad year, but it was kind of a dull year. 2011 is the year that I first kind of jumped into this YouTube thing. You know, that was about, you know, not even a month ago. And I kind of jumped into it head first and didn't exactly know what I was doing. And um, hopefully 2012 will be a little bit better. Hopefully I get a little more known, a little more subscribers, more views, you know, more money, all that shit. Um, you know, some people have their little New Year's resolutions. Um, I don't really call mine resolutions, just kind of, you know, whatever. Hopefully I do better at that and stuff, you know, outside of Call of Duty, you know, school and stuff. Hopefully I do better in that. Hopefully I'm you know, nicer person. Hopefully I'm better. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, on the topic of 2012, okay, a lot of people are scared of 2012, and that is because some, I don't know who the fuck it was, said 2012 is going to be the last year of life, okay, and he said that because of some Indian Gandhi motherfucker wrote some calendar of life, or of the months of you know, the rest of eternity, and he UAV stopped it, something, something, by. 2012, UAV okay. Online. You know, it's possible that he just got bored and quit writing, but apparently not. Some dude thinks he's Heads Jesus and knows what's going on. He knows the world's going to end. If he knew the world's going to end, why wouldn't he do something different about his life? Why, if I, if I honestly, if God came down from above and told me, you have two, uh, about two weeks to live, I'm not going to sit there and tell people. I'll hold that shit to myself. The only person I'll tell would be my closest friends and all that. I can see he probably did it for money, probably for the fame and all that stuff, but anyone can make up some stupid thing. People said the world was going to end, you know, the new millennium. Last year they said it was, whatever fucking, I was at like a school dance and it was supposed to end like at like 12 that night and I was like sitting there staring at the clock, it hit 12, I was like, ah, that gives a dipshit, got my hopes up. You know, I thought the world was going to end. Now, that would be kind of scary if it did, though, like a big-ass apocalypse. They said, that, oh, the computer's going to shut down and fucking blow up and kill us all like a machine gun. And shit like that. But I don't think the world's going to end 2012. There's no there's no way that it would. Because they wouldn't make good films if, the, if they knew the world was going to end. What do we got to look forward to? We got awesome powers. Okay, they're making a new awesome powers. Okay, why would they make a new one if the world was going to end? A new Batman's coming up. That's going to be badass as hell. Okay, God would not let the world end if there's a new Batman coming out. Okay, we got another one, Superman. Who wouldn't want to watch Superman, okay? That's not gonna fucking, they wouldn't do that if the world's gonna fucking end, okay? There's no way the world's gonna end. And if people honestly think that, they're pretty fucking stupid in my book, you know? Um, and if you do, if you do think the world's gonna end, you know, tell me, tell me why. Why specifically and how? How's the world gonna end? You know, people have been saying this for a long time, well, because... You know, some kid wants, some dude, you know, wants his fame, fortune, all that. That's not some, you know, scare people in the world ending, you know? You don't have that right to, you know, tell people, oh, yeah, apparently the world's going to end, you know, shit like that. I mean, I once talked to my history teacher about, you know, the world ending and all that. You know, he's not God or anything, so maybe the opinion doesn't matter to you guys, but, you know, to me it does. Um, he says it's very possible that um, the world ends. And because of this, is because it happened, what the fuck, um, he said something about back in Jerusalem fucking times, back when Jesus was alive or whatever, it was kind of like an apocalypse thing, and something like that, like, and I, like, I don't know, I don't remember it all, but how he said it made me kind of think about it a little bit more, kind of understand it a little bit more, I mean, you know, if you really have questions, you know, ask, you know, someone a little older and shit, not some person that you met on YouTube doing commentaries for fucking... Call of Duty, you know, shit like that. My opinion, does, you know, as far as I'm concerned, my, my opinion doesn't matter, but I'm going to talk about it anyways. Um, it's possible that the world ends because God is sick of us. You know, more because, you know, I believe in God, so you can be atheist, whatever the fuck that shit is, or whatever, and say, oh, no, whatever. But this is what I think, so, you know, my opinion, I can say what I want. Um, what I think is that God's getting sick of people being on Earth. You know, as time goes on, less people believe in God, more people become ungrateful and shit. 
and when he does that, it's basically he basically pushes restart on Earth. So he basically kills everyone, does all that or whatever. We had our shot, we fucked it up. Then he kind of restarts it, new people, new life, more religion. You know, it started off, you know, everyone used to believe in God. And as you go on, go on, there's always those stragglers that are kind of like, oh no, I don't think he is real. You know, that might be true or whatever, but everyone has their opinion. You know, it goes on and goes on, and then if it gets if it gets to that certain point where, you know, nobody believes in him, or like really barely anyone believes in him, it's possible that he just resets and, you know, tries his luck with the next fucking people of Earth or whatever the hell it is, or I don't know. That's just, you know, what I think, you know, I got weird imaginations, but it's possible that someone else thinks that too, but, you know, I I don't think the world's going to end, there's no way that it would do that, and that would kind of suck for everyone, because I wouldn't, you know, I'm 16 years old, I spent my whole life in school, you know, that's fucking stupid, what's the point of going to school if the world's going to end in 2012, what, what do I got to go to college for, UAV what's all that grade shit for, you know, and UAV I never even got to go clubbing. You know, that's something not to look forward to. Die before you go clubbing. You know, I didn't even get to... You know, I've been to Canada like twice. Or like three times. I've never been to Mexico. I want to go to Italy. I want to go to Norway. I want to go to that cool shit. Fucking Hawaii and all that stuff. Even though it's still in the same country. But it doesn't seem like it. Because it looks like it's the fucking Bahamas. You know, shit like that. Alright, whatever. Alright, well this commentary is done. Uh, leave a comment below. Whatever you think. And, you know, send me a message if you disagree. Or if you want to talk about it, debate, whatever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.